Please welcome one of your newest members of the Washington Capitals, Mr. Dylan Stroh. You came over as a free agent during the off season. Did you know that this was a potential landing place? No, I, I really didn't. No, it was a no-brainer for me to play with some uh, really, really good players and a great organization. A lot of guys that make you feel really comfortable and really easy to talk to and play with, and it's been a lot of fun. Good deal. Well, don't go far. You're going to be a team captain in something a little bit later on. Once again, Dylan Stroh. I got here like pretty much beginning of September. It's nice to come into the team before the season starts and, and before camp even starts and get to know everybody. I didn't really know much about DC. Like I didn't know how like family friendly it is. It's easy to go for a walk and always have something to do for Wesley or for Benny. Everyone's been really welcoming, so it makes it makes it a lot easier on the, the family side of things. I rented a house in a good area and it's been great actually. Wes, where's the signing made for Daddy? Did you make it? Coming from a family with three boys, it's, it's hockey kind of 24-7 for us growing up. Ryan actually lives just in Mississauga. Matt's in, in Hershey's only a couple hours away. It's definitely different adjusting to you know, life with girls around the house all the time. I think a little more coloring, a little more stickers. Can you pour me some tea? Dad, Dad? <laughs> She's adjusting well. It's really nice that there's a lot of uh, other kids on the team. Her and Mila spend a lot of time together. Dance class, gymnastics class. Mila is Connor Sherry's daughter. Yeah, they're, big fan. They're big good friends and they look a lot alike, so it's quite funny. Yeah, every time we're together, it's like, are they cousins? Are they twins? Are they sisters? Do you like going to watch Daddy in hockey play hockey? Go yeah. Dad, yeah, that's what you say. Yeah. You know, when they come to the games, it's nice to nice to see them on the glass and warm up. She loves it. It's actually insane. She sits in her seat, but if she finds him at warm ups, like she will not take her eyes off him. She like taps in the glass, like following him like around. It's so cute. Can you show them how you hit the ball? Oh, yep, good shot. Can you say anything right now? Can you say dada? Dada. <laughs> Can you say mama? Mama. What noise does a doggy make? Mm. What noise does a pig make? <laughs> what does a cow make? Mm. Yeah. What, what's your doggy's name? Can you say it? Um. Yeah, that's how we say Benny. Should we go get Benny? Can you go show them how you get Benny? Can you yell for Benny? Um. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> yeah, we've had Benny, we got him... May 13th. He just turned eight months. Yeah, just turned eight months. He has a lot of energy, I think like most Golden Retrievers do. But I take him to the park just around the corner and throw the ball for him or whatever and run around all, all day. He loves it. Who's that? Benny. Yeah, Benny. You like the energy, right? Wanna go, wanna go get it? Ready? Go! Go get it! We got our first golden retriever, Wrigley, in uh, 2020. He, you know, made us a family together. And he was such a big, big, big part of our lives that he was also like my child. Like I felt, I know people say that, but I'm like, no, like he was literally my son. <laughs> he was the best, and he passed away when he was two. Well, obviously, both hate talking about it. She was so young; she just turned one. But even then, you could tell that she knew something was missing. We couldn't live without a dog. We lived without one for a month, and then the stars kind of aligned with the breeder, and ended up getting a call saying they had Benny available. Worked out really well, and we're obviously really happy, so. No, we wish Wrigley was here, and we miss him a lot, but Benny's a good dog. Benny's great, and we're so glad that we were able to fill that missing void as much as we could right then. So yeah, we're definitely looking forward to tonight to rock the retro. I think it's going to be a you know a cool experience. So it's nice where we can go and kind of do something and you know day off tomorrow from practice. So nice to maybe get a little sleep in. Maybe not too much. Yeah, I don't sleep. know about that. <laughs> we do family hug. Family hug. <laughs> Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye.
Yeah. I'm gonna get some swag, yeah, for sure. Just don't steal my vest. Yeah, grab some right? <laughs> There's some jackets in here. <laughs> Is that yours? <laughs> yeah, that's I'll my be sure to walk out with that on my way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with uh, Darcy Kemper. We're looking at some reverse retro stuff. I think everyone kind of agrees that the Capitals reverse retros are tops in the leagues. I think I might just wear the Ovi jersey on the on stage. We're, we're trying to pick something out here, but I'm going to go with this, I think. Keep it simple. Size. Yeah, keep it simple. I was gonna wear the I'm just gonna wear the Obi jersey I think. No. Yeah. Can I not wear the Obi jersey? Yeah. I was I was I was I was talking to a few guys from the former teams and we're gonna go on stage and, and have some fun and uh, we're in the reverse retro stuff so it's fun. Welcome to the 9:30 Club. Welcome to Rock the Retro concert. So we're gonna play a little game. Former players over here, current players over here. For your current players, your team captain will be Dylan Strome. When this song came out, Locker was 35. Dylan's older brother, Ryan, was one. Sir mix a lot. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. I'll take it. One second, one second, one second, one second. I think that might be the wrong name of the song. What's the real name of the song? We've heard that song a lot the last week or so. She got uh, a little Santa Claus that has like a big butt. You click the hand on it and it sings uh, Baby Got Back. Isn't it Baby Got Back? They got it! I knew the song, definitely knew it was that song. We got the point for our team and, and got the win. Yeah! Hey, 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 hey. It was a lot of fun to be on stage. It's just a good event. Gonna listen to some music now and uh, it'll be fun.